Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today it's a cool, crisp autumn morning and I'm so happy because I get to spend the entire day here at home. We've actually had a little bug that hit our house the past few weeks and we've been under the weather. Today is the first day that I've actually had the energy to really clean and get our house back on its feet. I don't know about you, but nothing motivates me to clean like knowing there's been sickness in the house. I'm starting the morning off by making a simmer pot. You can do this on the stovetop or a crock pot like I'm doing here. I just add water and some of my favorite fall scents like cinnamon sticks, cloves, orange peel, rosemary, you name it. I'll just turn it on high and let it heat up and fill the house with a really nice smell. And I plan to keep this going all day and probably into tomorrow too. And just add water as needed. Before I get down to business, I'm just gonna have one more cup of coffee. I usually have my coffee black, but sometimes I like to have a little heavy cream and a dash of cinnamon with it. Since it's crisp but not too cold, I'm gonna have my coffee outside on the balcony. One of the telltale signs that fall has really arrived in my area is when the snow geese come. They show up in these huge flocks and we have such a nice view as they land on the lake. They're really fun to watch, but so far I don't see any yet this morning. While I'm out here, I'm doing something that's very small, but I look forward to. I love to change the wallpaper on my iPhone to fit the season or holiday. This is just one of those little ways to kind of make your phone more personal and so that each time you look at it, you see something that's pretty and reminds you of the season. We've got temperatures that are gonna dip below freezing in the forecast, so I'm also enjoying the last little bits of my geranium pots on the balcony. All right, time to head in and get started. I'm filling my diffusers with an essential oil that is supposed to help fight germs. It also has a nice fall scent with cloves and those kinds of aromas, kind of like what's in my simmer pot. So I've got those going and now I'm going to go ahead and start making the bed. This is a daily battle between me and my dog that we both kind of pretend to hate, but we secretly love.
I'm making a quick DIY cleaning solution using hot water, rubbing alcohol, almond scented Castile soap, and that same essential oil I used in the diffusers earlier. I'll give it a quick shake and then spray it on lots of the surfaces throughout my house. Other surfaces like wood, I'll use something different. It's just nice to go through and wipe everything down and get it nice and clean and fresh. I'm trying to focus on our main touch points, including faucets, any sort of handles, light switches, doorknobs, you name it. Anywhere that gets a lot of different hands on it, I'm trying to wipe down and get nice and clean. I've been really enjoying planning for a few upcoming home projects. They're both a little bit daunting in my opinion, but I think they're really going to make a big difference in our house. The first project is actually a staircase makeover. I'm going to stain the banister and some of the steps dark, almost black. I'm really excited. It's going to be a little bit tedious, but I think it'll make a big difference in how our staircase looks. I love the idea of black accents throughout our house. For the second project, I'm going to paint my kitchen cabinets. I've been thinking about it for a while and I think I've settled on a color and a look that's going to fit it just perfectly. I'm really glad I didn't do this right when we moved in. I would have made probably the wrong choice and it's really given me time to settle in and think about what I would like best in this space. I should say that the couple we bought our house from were immaculate homeowners. They built this house and they chose really great materials. So I get to just come in and do those fun cosmetic projects every few years as the styles and your tastes change.
I give the simmer pot a quick stir just to kind of wake up all those different smells and then I'm off to do something slightly controversial. <laughs> Every now and then I like to sprinkle a little bit of baking soda on my carpet. There's like a smell mixed in that makes it smell so fresh. I wait 15 minutes and then I vacuum it up. Now some say that the baking soda is a great way to deodorize and clean your carpet. Others say it will mess up your vacuum cleaner. So I kind of split the difference and just do this every now and then. But I have to admit, it really makes your house smell fresh and feel very clean. Once I finish vacuuming, it's time to mop. I'm filling my bucket with an all-purpose cleaner and those same essential oil drops and then filling it with very hot water. As I was finishing up, I heard a familiar sound from inside my house. I do a little more straightening and then it's time to run a few errands and then relax for a few hours until it's time to start making dinner. making one of our favorite dinners. It's a semi-homemade chicken pot pie, perfect for a chilly fall night. I start off by putting some chicken into my instant pot and then letting it cook. I'm sauteing some diced onion in melted butter. Give it a quick stir and then I will add some flour and salt and pepper. Following that, I'll add in some chicken broth and whole milk, stir it around, allow it to thicken, and then add in my frozen peas and carrots and chicken from the Instant Pot.
The real time saver for me with this meal is using store-bought frozen crust. My family loves this dinner, so I'm actually doubling the recipe and using a total of four crusts. I just kind of shape them into squares so that they fit my casserole dish. You could also probably make two pies, but I just find this a little bit easier. So it's a chicken pot casserole. <laughs> Before it goes in the oven, I like to give it an egg wash to give it a nice golden brown color. After that, it just goes in the oven for about 40 minutes and then we eat. Our dinner was great. Now it's the end of the night and time to curl up and relax. I just love to find one of my favorite blankets and my heating pad. I love using this thing because you can move the heat around and it doesn't overwhelm you. You don't get too hot. I'm currently reading a book about pirates. It's not the coziest or most heartwarming subject, but it's really interesting. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.